G'day football fans and welcome back to episode 29 of our severe rebuild or let's play series or whatever you want to call it. It is the last episode of the series. It's it's the final day of season number five. Um, we, there will be one other video after this, I guess. It'll be like a five-year sort of simulation and, and see where our severe side gets to. But, but there's much more important things to get to before that. Um, today, we're taking on Real Madrid. It is the final day of the La Liga season. It is a title-deciding match, just not with Real Madrid. I'll explain shortly. First, though, make sure you do leave us that like down below. Why not? Like, you have to. Why wouldn't you? It's free. I, probably. I assume. If it's costing you, probably probably contact people. You probably tweet YouTube or something. I don't know. Leave us a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Comment what you think of the video, what you thought of the series, who we should do next, all that sort of stuff. Um, I have some ideas. I'm hoping it's a good one. We'll see, I guess. Um, and and I guess, let's get, get right into it. So we are up to the final day. As I said, we are two points ahead of... FC Barcelona, who, look, they have made it, uh, they've taken us right to the, the closest. I should also say, and I'll go back to the full face cam for this, I'm wearing my lucky shirt today. Um, it's, it's the 2008-2009 Manchester City top. So, look, if it doesn't show um, that I have liked football for a while, um, I don't know what else does. Anyway, today's video is for Steven Ireland, all right? Him specifically. All right. Anyway, that was anyway. <laughs> after after that um, incident, um, plenty to obviously catch you up on. It has been you know two and a half months since you were last here, that sort of thing. I guess the thing most of note is is the stage of the competition where we're at and where all the competitions have been or have gotten to. Of course, if you watched the last video, you would have seen that we did get knocked out. I don't want to talk about it. got knocked out by Benfica in the knockout round of the Champions. Anyway, don't. Don't pay attention to that. It doesn't matter. Um, we've then made it to the Spanish Cup semi-final. We... I don't know if it'll show it here. Uh, geez, they stonked it in the final. My goodness. Um, we drew with them in the first leg. Two all at Real Madrid, I think. No. What? Man, I'm confused now. No. Uh, that's wrong. This is very misleading because it makes it look like we lost at home. But we lost away 2-0. We drew the first leg two all at home. I'm not... This is very misleading. Don't pay attention to it. Um, uh, unfortunately, though, we did lose. We lost to Real Madrid, um, and they went through to the final, and they beat Barcelona 4-0. They've been very good. Fortunately for us, they haven't been good enough to keep, like, on par with us. Barcelona, however, have. Um, they are only two points behind. Barcelona did beat us. If you look at our losses here, two of our losses are to Barcelona. Um... And also, if you go if we go back to our home screen, you can see we've got two red cards here. They've both come against Barcelona. Um, if we scroll back to wherever the heck the first one was, here we go. Uh, Wagner Venancio after eight minutes. Yep. Uh, and then if we scroll down here to just a few games ago, Enzo Rodriguez sent off. Two red cards all season. They've come in our two league fixtures against Barcelona. I don't know what we did to deserve this, but. We're so close to winning a league title. We just need to get past Real Madrid. Surely Real Madrid, who are now out of it, out of the title race, like uh, they're four points behind us, so it, it doesn't really affect them, I guess. Um, all they can do is move up to second, potentially, but that's depending on Barcelona's result. Surely, with all there is to say about the, you know, the rivalry, the El Clasico rivalry, surely they just let us win, right? As for the form on a whole since you were last year, the last... Video was, of course, this game here against Villarreal. We won it 3-1, thanks to an own goal from Pau Torres, a goal from Rooney Baji, a goal from Matai Stel, and, and what it ends up being a consolation goal from Luis Suarez. Um, we've then gone on to lose to Real Madrid in the semi-final of the Spanish Cup, which, you know, it's it's fine, it was going to happen, whatever. Um, we've been Granada, Las Palmas, Espanyol. Then I think that's sort of where we started to get the yips a little bit. Um, against Batiste, we were the better side. It was a 95th minute winner in a derby for, from uh, from Oscar there. Then a 3-0 win against uh, Mallorca here. Sorry, I blanked for a second there. Um, thanks to goals from Tel Achortu, El Achortu rather, and uh, Nyonzu. Then, of course, the loss to Barcelona with the two yellow cards to Enzo Rodriguez. Ten minutes later, Frank Kessie scores. Um, it was off the back of a corner. We just uh, cleared the first attempt and then they knocked it back in to Kessie, who had taken it, uh, and nobody thought to try and close him down. Um, we've then gone ahead and lost to Sociedad. Um, How did we go against Sociedad the first time? We beat them 7-0. 
somehow we've managed to go from beating them 7-0 to losing 1-0. If we look at the stats of that game, 18 sh- we had 18 shots. We dominated the XG. We'd... It wasn't our best performance, I'll say. Look, it just wasn't our best performance, and we really definitely should have played better. Like, Tell didn't play good. Frank Garcia wasn't good. Our subs didn't help. Um, it just wasn't good all round. Um, then most recently against Bill Bow, we did win 3-0 thanks to two goals from Luis Enrique. He then also assisted the other goal for Matthijs Tell, um, which uh, amazingly, absolutely stunningly, Matthijs Tell, um, it, I, if you can see it down the bottom there, he's uh, got a couple of goals this season. Um, just here in the, the middle of the screen, making sure my camera's not in the road of it. Um, 60 goals. 60 goals in this season. Uh, in... 51 games, three appearances as being off the bench. He's got 60 goals. That is just absolutely sensational. He is such a such good player. Um, so if you look, so 60 that this season, 55 last season. So that's 115 uh, goals for the club, and then 18 this season. So that takes it up to 133 uh, goals for the club. Uh, if we go to just Sevilla and go to the history and go to Records, how far off is he? How far off is he all time? Um, uh, oh, he, right. It's right at the top, um, exactly where you'd think it would be. Um, 182. So he's only 50 off. So realistically, at his current rate, that's next season. He beats that. Um, I'm not going to be here for it because we're just going to simulate that season. But, you know, that's decent. Um, he's also, it says here most league goals is uh, 39. He's eclipsed that this season. He's got 48. Um, he's only two behind Lionel Messi. Uh, like Messi's best season at Barcelona, that that calendar year where he scored 90 goals in a calendar year. Um, Matthijs tells only two goals behind that for this uh, this season. So he's been a pretty good purchase. Um, I didn't expect him to be this good. I was like, oh, hopefully him and Callum Wendell are sort of, you know, neck and neck. They can sort of go tit for tat, is that a saying? Um, and hopefully they can, uh, you know, end up getting us a good amount of goals together. Matthijs Tell's doing the work for both of them um, and doing a great goddamn job of it too. Um, if we look at the rest of the squad and how they have performed, we will go by average rating. Of course, Matthijs Tell is right up there. Of course he is. He is wanted by Manchester United and Milan. Huge price tag on him. Of course, we've then got a Drago who has been spectacular again. Um, average rating of 7.34, 44 appearances uh, this season. He still looks like he's getting better. Um, he even played out on the wing uh, in one game just because he can, basically, um, because he's that good. Um, Rooney Bargi has just come back from injury, actually, so he's probably not fully matched. Yeah, he's losing sharpness. He's, uh, yeah, look. He just came back from injury, so he's looking very good. He's gotten better acceleration as this season's gone on. He is now wanted by Nottingham Forest of all teams. Having a good season, 26 goals involvements. Can't complain with that. Dennis Simon, a very good season. He's probably his best season with us now, I'd say. Uh, this season, average rating of 7, 7.15, 7.18. So, I mean, not that much better, really, let's let's be honest. But clean sheets, 22, 26 last season. Bloody hell, at 24. This is his worst season. This is, worth, this is his worst season with us, and I hate Dennis Simon. Other than those top four, we've then got... He goes, Muretti, Papi Diet, who the new signing in January, has gone ahead and played 23 games since then. He looks absolutely sensational. He's been called up for Spain um, in the upcoming... Um, I think it's the Euro... Would it be Euro 2028? Yeah, it'd be Euro 2028. Um, he's been called up for Spain along with Oscar, but like Alberto Malero doesn't get called up. Um other Spanish people don't get called up. Um, like, I guess, Fran Garcia doesn't get called up. Like, not that any, no one was expecting that. Um, other players, Simakan playing well. He's suspended. He's not in this game. He, uh, too many yellow cards. He's got 10 yellow cards in the, the league, I believe. Uh, yeah, 10 yellow cards in the league. No other yellow cards. Or one other yellow card in the Super Cup. All right, well, 10 yellow cards all up. He's he's had a very good season. It's, it's a shame that he misses out. Um, we've also got, of course... Oscar now uh, exploring options at the end of his contract, which expires at the end of next season. Luis Enrique, similar story. Um, just ex- he wants to leave and, and, you know, power to him. Raymond Escarela has asked to leave because he believes he wasn't playing enough. This 19-year-old who has played 38 games 
for the team who's leading the Spanish div- first division, or the La Liga, believed he wasn't playing enough and wants to leave. So that's something for the next manager to look forward to, having, you know, Callum Wendo requesting a transfer, Cuenca leaving, Escarela requesting a transfer, Enrique leaving uh, at the end of his contract in a year's time, Oscar leaving in a year's time, players like Tell and Baji and Nyonzu all wanted. Um, so that's not great. I might, um, like, after, like, today's video and, and, and wrapping this one up, I might try and secure some of those futures and maybe make a couple of transfers or something like that just so the manager that's coming in isn't screwed over and, you know, we've lost, you know, the core of this, the squad that's been so good for us the last few uh, five years, I guess. Um, anyway, um, what else do I have to cover? Um, I can't even think of what else. Matias Chortu's just signed a new contract. He's looking absolutely sensational, having a great season. I feel like the second half of the season's been even better than the first half of the season. Um, t- 20 goal involvements for a 20 year old I'm, I'm over the moon with that just signed a new contract through to 2033 with a gigantic uh, 150 million almost as much as Matthias Tell's release clause so didn't want to lose him um, other than that look I think that's about it I-, I just want to get into today's video we're against Real Madrid we're hoping that Barcelona falter away at I think they're away at Ibar and we're hosting Real Madrid Let's see how we go. All right, we have set our lineup. It, it isn't perfect. I'll, I'll, I'll admit we have got Dennis Simon and goals. The back line is where the issues are. It's Wisdom Amy at right back, who looks a little tired. Nianzu and Enzo Rodriguez at centre back, which I'm very worried about. Fran Garcia at left back. The reason being, um, Kawanka is the other option, which I don't, I don't really want to go with. Maybe I should be doing that. Ooh. All right, no, I'm changing. I'm changing it. No, I'm too. I'm panicking. Um, I'm clearly panicking. Um, Cuenca now in and Rodriguez out to left back. Fran Garcia coming off. I just think that makes more sense. Hopefully that pays off. Um, we then got a midfield pairing of Moretti and Adrago. Our best midfield pairing, I think. Venancio um, can get up there and be that good. He's down here, um, but he's just not been there this season. And in big games, he's made mistakes. So I don't want to do that. Um, we then got across attacking midfield. It is Rooney, Baji, Oscar and Alberto Malero on the left. Just looking for more control than... Um, like having Ella Chortu or, uh, or Cody Gakpo there, trying to get more creativity to feed forward towards Matthijs Tell, basically. Um, so we could have gone for Gakpo in a left wing, we could have gone for Ella Chortu in a left wing, but we're going with Alberto Malero for the creativity, for the passing, that sort of thing. Hopefully that pays off as well. We'll see how we get on. It, it's a huge, huge game. Um, Died, who is dead tired, dead tired, um, that's why he can't play. Simakan, of course, suspended for this one. It is absolutely huge. I am just so stressed. I like the the thumping in my heart when we lose. We're losing to uh, Real Sociedad. Uh, was absolutely ridiculous. Um, oh, we owe them. Let's say that. Um, pump fists. Let's go, boys. Come on, sons. Come on, sons. Um, yeah, the pumping in my heart was absolutely ridiculous. Um, we. <laughs> Uh, then happened to be that um, straight after that game, Real Madrid played Valencia, I think it was, um, and drew one all, which has meant that we stayed four points ahead of them, um, I guess through also beating Bilbao? I don't remember. Um, we stayed four points ahead of them, and um, now it's just up against us and Barcelona. A draw will probably do. We do have a 17-goal difference advantage on Barcelona, so if Barcelona win... We're still ahead on goal difference, but I think the Spanish division actually works on record, which would mean we are we are screwed. Because Dennis Simon, come out of your goals, son! Oh my days! Oh, I'm just gonna be stressed this whole time. Um, I just want a good performance. I said a draw would do, and now I'm doubting myself. I have a feeling that it's on record, so we're gonna we'd be we'd be screwed. As, assuming that, I'm gonna pause it here. Assuming that. Barcelona do beat Ibar. We'll keep the uh, the scores on there. Oh, man, I'm nervous. I just want a good performance. I want us to win. I just... I don't want to end this series on this sort of a note, you know? I don't want to leave it disappointed, which, you know, there are already things that, you know, we may regret and things we wish we had have done. I'm just... I'm just watching the score of the Ibar-Barcelona game. Come on, Ibar. We are very, very deep early on here. Oh, every time there's a goal, I get 
Get in! Go on, Ibar! Ibar have taken the lead. It is 22 minutes in in their game as well. Um, so we're running parallel with them. Eric Exposito, you absolute legend. I mean, if if I'm doing any transfers after this game, I mean, maybe Eric Exposito should be one of them. We are getting close to half an hour in. We, oh, we're probably not having the best of it. They've had the better quality of chance. They've also had the possession. We're starting to get a little bit higher up the pitch, which is good. Barcelona having an injury to someone named Aslani, which I'm not sure they're entirely uh, concerned about. I would like us to maybe just win this one. Um, I like, <laughs> uh, I, I, I'm just nervous. I, I don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to say. There's been one highlight, maybe, and we're about to get into halftime with Barcelona still behind at this point. I don't want to talk too soon. It's halftime. It's... Oh, it's almost halftime. Here's a highlight. Danny Olmo lobs it forward, headed away by Matthias Tell. Malero wins the header, but loses out to Lamptey. Lamptey coming forward, plays back to Militao. Looks like it'll be a highlight for Real Madrid as Alaba. Oh, dear. Okay. Thank goodness me. Oh, my God. Thank God that was an effort from about 16 miles out because it was surely one of their strikers could have got in on that. All right. Um... Uh, let's go with we owe them because we need to perform in the second half. We need to. We cannot fluff this. We cannot. All right. Let's go with a nice encourage. Oh, my God. First thing, Real Madrid on the final day to secure a title uh, is like one of the most stressful things you can put on a person. You know? Here's a cross. Wisdom Amy in the box. Come on, son. Across to Rooney. Oh, Rooney can't beat Courtois. Come on, son. Damn it. All right. Good chance, though. I'm glad we've created a good chance there. Nothing from the second ball in there. Wisdom Amy heads it back to Umar Sadiq. Plays through Camavinga, but Moretti does very well. That is the end of that highlight. That was a good first chance for the second half. Did well to create that chance. I'm very happy with that one. That seems like, you know, it shows that we can do it against Real Madrid. Hopefully, we can keep that up, and hopefully, Ibar can keep their end of the bargain which they're doing very well Ooh, so far. Every time there's a change on these scores, I panic. Immediately, I'm like, uh oh, I've lost every bearing in the world. I can't see it. Oscar with a free kick. Come on, son. Get in! Oscar, you absolute legend! He scored that winning goal in the 95th minute against Betis. Without that, we wouldn't be in the position we're in. We'd be equal with Barcelona. He's also just scored an absolute stunner against Real Madrid. He actually scored a winning goal against Real Madrid as well um, a couple of years ago now it would be um, similarly like 93rd minute to that one against um, uh, Betis uh, like 93rd minute won us the game at the Bernabeu oh my god Oscar is the big game player um, he is just an absolute stud um, he's been in and out of the squad he hasn't really had a great run in the team gonna bring off Enzo for um, Fran Garcia oh my god my heart is racing lads this is crazy um, who else do we bring off? I don't want to bring off Matthijs Tell because that seems ill-advised. What we will do, though, is bring off Rooney Baji for Luis Enrique, who has been in very good form. Um, two two goals and an assist in, in our 3-0 win over uh, Bilbao last time out. So hopefully we can keep this up. Oh, my days. It is 67 minutes in. Of course, after the um, match, we'll go a little bit of a uh, way through the... Um, end of season wrap up thing I just want to win though I just want to win it'll be our third league title we've had three cup performances or cup what two have we won the cup three times no won the cup twice we won the league twice and then this man I'm losing my mind um all right we've got two subs left we need to make sure they are good subs I'm gonna bring off Muretti for Venancio for a little bit a bit more defensive acumen I guess um, and he's on a yellow card, so it makes sense. Um, and then uh, we'll bring on Cody Gakpo, a bit of experience on the left-hand side in place of Alberto Malero, and we will keep going as we're getting very close here. It is 74 minutes in, another highlight. Gendry on the ball, lobs it forward towards Tell. In behind, but he can't finish. He was offside anyway, I think, so wouldn't have counted. We'll hit them with the praise because this second half has been... Very good. I mean, possession isn't quite in our favour, but at this stage, the league table is. If we hit it with a cute little pause there and hit the league table, we would hit 100 points. Barcelona would be stuck on 95, as is. 
it's our record points total already. Our record points total was 90, uh, 94, I think. So I think we passed it with our last win um, against uh, against Bilbao. But this is the one that counts. They just equalized Barcelona in the 86th minute. Oh, days. If we concede and they score a winner, it is, it's their Aguero moment. All right, we're going to... All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to go positive. We're going to go with the focus. Are we going to go proper... No, opposite of that. Go, go just proper, absolutely, uh, you know, time wasting. We're going to, you know, not, I don't want anything to happen. I just want to just have nothing happen. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. All right. We've got two minutes, two minutes to last. Barcelona still won all. We win. It is a one nil win. We win the league title. We have won our third league title of the series. At home on the final day against Real Madrid, we get the three points to win the league title. That is just absolutely sensational. We, uh, we're we already in the um, uh, Spanish like top 10 managers Hall of Fame sort of thing. Um, so I imagine we'll go even higher in that. As we see the uh, trophy lift, there is Mr. Minet, Ruben Minet in his little tracksuit looking absolutely stunning. We've won a league, uh, I'm over the moon, to have won in the three, five years, to have won three league titles, that's absolutely sensational because we've we've been the best side in these five years. In, like the first year we finished fourth and then since then we've gone, uh, wait, what? Is this the sixth season? Bro, what? Am I in season six and the whole time I was in saying five? I'm so confused because I'm sure it was fourth, Win, win, Madrid, Madrid, and now we've won. Is this season six? So, here we go then. We are at the end of season review for season six. Five plus one, six. Um, so, we've had five seasons. We've won three league titles. We've won two Spanish Cups. We have won one Super Cup this season. You can see the trophy there. We've won a Super Cup and La Liga this season. Looking at the new arrivals for this season, did we even make any purchases um oh yes of course we <laughs> brought in Pabe Dia too that's the only one we brought in they are very happy with that transfer I'm very happy with that transfer because he's absolutely sensational he's 21 years old he's just he's only going to get better as for the people on the way out uh they weren't too over the moon with most of them C's for most um Gutierrez probably should be the worst rated one because of the money we didn't get for him um whereas like Fran Beltran getting 20 million is probably a pretty pretty decent deal um Hincapier we also made like a 15 million dollar profit on so it's pretty decent looking at the season's results we won the league title they are absolutely chuffed with that 48 league goals for Matthias Tell 100 points Barcelona are now the uh, have the record for the highest points total without winning so that's pretty cool not great in the Champions League they're not happy I'm not happy Dennis Simon's not happy no one's happy um we made the semi-final of the Spanish Cup that's fine that's absolutely fine we won La Liga, I mean, not La Liga, Super Cup, my God. We did win La Liga, though, um, to be fair, so I wasn't wrong, necessarily. Um, moments are two. Remember, our biggest win, of course, against Real Sociedad. I'm smiling because I've just seen that the goal of the season is literally the one that's just won us the league title two minutes ago. Uh, that is the sort of thing that you just talk about for years, you know what I mean? Like... It's not necessarily our Aguero moment or, or something like that, but it, it'd definitely be up there. Just a stunning free kick from, does it say, oh, it doesn't say how far out, but it was probably like 30 yards. Uh, our match to remember was 5-0 against Atletico Madrid, which is pretty stunning. Finances, sponsorship was up, broadcast, of course, and corporate. It's all down because we didn't get as far in the Champions League, basically, um, and that's to be expected, I suppose. How we lined up. You know, that's that's probably how you'd pick it. Um, and we actually did end up having seven players in the uh, team of the season. I think it was... Uh, it wasn't Dennis Simon. He was on the bench. Wisdom Amy was in there. I think it was Simakan. Adrago and Moretti were in there. Rooney Bargi was in there. Matthijs Tell was in there. Is that it? One, two, three... One, two, three, four, five, six. And then someone else. Don't know. Someone else. Maybe Enzo. I don't know. Someone. I don't know. And then a few players were on the bench, like Dennis Simon. Um, but uh, really, that is just... Man, what a season. We won 
coach of the year, we got player of the year was... I don't know. I don't think it was Matthias Tell, which would be weird. Uh, wouldn't really make sense. Fans player of the season, of course, Matthias Tell. I mean, who else is it going to be? Young player of the season, Matthias Tell. Signing of the season, the only one. Goal of the season, of course, the one that won us the league. Top goal scorer with 60 goals, Matthias Tell. Most assists was 11, which seems very low. Um, but I guess we just shared them around, maybe. Um, or maybe uh, he just didn't need them. Matthias Tell didn't need assists. He just, he'll figure it out himself, you know. Um, competition awards. Um, oh, wow. That's a lot of awards. Um, World Under-21 Player of the Year, Rooney Baji. Golden Boy, Ella Chortu. League Player of the Year. So he did get Player of the Year, Matthias Tell. Top Goal Scorer. European Golden Shoe. World Footballer of the Year. World Player of the Year. French Player of the Year. Sp- Spanish League Player of the Year. Top goal scorer. Is that in there twice? I'm confused. Uh, and then Spanish League Young Player of the Year at Drago. Like, just got such a good young squad. Uh, we've managed to win six trophies in six years. Three La Ligas in six years. Um, here's our dynamic, wonderful dynamic timeline that nobody uh, cares about whatsoever. Um, and that's it. I'm... I'm sad, man. Like, looking at this squad with the the ages of a lot of the players that, you know, are huge parts of the squad. Um, like, Dennis Simon, he's only 22. He's going to play so, so many games for this club. Um, players like Nyonzu, who's been there since day one um, of this. Like, literally, his first season was our first season. He's played 42 games there, 36 games there, another 42. Four, um, another 30-something. He's made a lot of appearances for Sevilla over these six years. Then players like Diad, who, 21, he's going to be here for ages. Same with Wisdom Amy, he's 22. Enzo, Miretti, Adraugo, uh, Acosta coming through this season. Um, Venancio, Alberto Malero has been here for most of the uh, six years. I think he's been here for five of them. Rooney Bargi is 22 as well. El Chortu, 20. Escarela, if he's six around, he's only 19. 20-year-old Oscar Marimon, who didn't perhaps get the chances he may have deserved this year, but we've won a, a league and Super Cup double, so I don't really mind. Um, it's just what, just such a great squad and such a good young squad that's only just going to get better and better. Um, and I'm sad to be saying goodbye to them, really. Um, I, as I said, I'll make another video where I skip ahead five years. I might make a transfer or two so that we can... Um, sort of lay the foundations for whoever it is that's coming in they will need another center back with Cuenca going out they may need to replace like Luis Enrique uh, Oscar Calamendo uh, maybe I don't know um, we'll see we'll see what we do I'll basically all I'll do is the transfers between now and the start of the next season and then I'll simulate for five seasons and see what happens basically um, thank you thank you guys so much for watching I'll skip back to the homepage here so you can look at the league table and Matthijs Tell and how good we were in the league, the best goal scoring, the second best defence the most yellow cards though, that's concerning, um, anyway thank you guys so so much for watching, thank you so much for the support across this series um, I, I don't know how many subscribers we had when we started but I feel like uh, we're up to 140 now it feels like the uh channel's just growing and growing and I'm really appreciating it. Uh, I'm having a wonderful time. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm, I'm really into it and I'm having a great time. Uh, I look forward to coming home after work and doing this sort of stuff. Um, getting to just do what I want to do and, and hang out and, and, and play some football stuff that I get to just talk about and think about and, you know, sit there at my desk at work doing boring admin stuff. Um, but thinking about Matthias Tell and stuff, you know, it's pretty weird. Anyway, I've loved it. Uh, I've had a great time. We'll start another one in a, in about a week's time, I guess. Um, and that's it. Until next time, when we go again in in five years' time, or with another team, whatever you reckon. Peace. <laughs>